Hi, this is Lady Lex UK, and this is Dreams of the Week Longer Play. Uh, in this, I'm going to be playing through these games a little bit longer and commentating as I go. A uh, bit more like um, the videos I used to do. I've had in the comments that some people prefer um, the, the longer plays uh, that I did. And some of you just like the short clips. So we're going to have like both versions maybe. We'll see how this one goes. See if this is uh, popular. Let me know in the comments if you'd like me to continue to do both uh, a short clip version and a long version as well. So let's get going because this is going to be a long video. So start off with the games. And our first game is Terence's Jungle Adventure by Sergeant Hamster. It says Terence, a cute panda pilot, crash lands in the jungle. How will he escape? Only with your help, a peaceful exploration game to play with young children, approximately 30 minutes. Built, optimised and plays best on a PlayStation 5. Well, I've got a PlayStation 4 Pro, it should be fine. Um, that's, you might get on your PlayStation, it gets very noisy with games that are made on the P uh, PS5, so be aware of that. But it should play. It shouldn't be jerky or anything like that, it should be okay. But uh, really depends on that how uh, how they've done it. So let's have a look. Let's have a look and see. Right, there was a little bit before this hand, this little cut scene. But we'll start here. Oh no, the letters! So this is setting us up for a collection quest. It's a really nice little cutscene animation, actually. Nice and uh, dramatic, got some good cinema angles. It's always a good good thing when people put a little bit of attention into their um, title sequences and uh, menus and things like that. Makes it all more professional looking. The more professional it is, the more people will like it. Right, so Terence has crash landed in the jungle. To escape, Terence must find 12 missing letters, find the lost map, find a way to repair the plane's propeller and find a way to allow the plane to leave and photograph six valuable artefacts so everyone will believe Terence. It's an interesting spelling of Terence that normally Terence is spelt with a with an E, not an A. Um, but that's how he wants it. The seaplane has a broken propeller. We need to find a way to fix it. Okay. What's that down there? There's a red sign down there. I don't know if that's important or we should go this way. Let me jump over there. Let's have a look what we've got. Right, there's a question mark here. The water has been shut off. Okay. Is that what this sign? What's this sign here? I think we're going to need that to flood this so that we our seaplane can turn around. I think we've been beached, are we? Or I don't know. I'm not quite sure. Obviously, we've got to do something with this water. Um, here's the pipe. Where does it go? Don't know. I'm probably doing all the wrong things. There's, it. There's another bit of pipe. Here's another bit of pipe. Aha! Wait, not all objectives are complete. Okay, okay, so here are our objectives. Um. Okay. Turn on the water is one of the objectives, but we obviously do that at the end, so there's no point in doing that now. <laughs> right, so let's go in. I think we've got to go in here. Do -de do do do. I like his uh his, his adventurous hat, rope, and everything that he's got going on there. He's supposed to be a postman. But he's got all the equipment for adventure. So I think he was prepared. Okay. Um, 
Well, that's blocked, so we can't go that way. Um. Hmm. Not a good start. We're going all the wrong way. Right, in we go then. Oh, it's not as deep as I thought it was going to be, that's alright. that up ahead. Walk to the green X and press to open the film camera. Oh cool. Okay. How do we... Well that changed the music. Oh I know. We have to do that. <laughs> I photographed the first artifact. Very Indiana Jones that isn't it? Right okay. Right, oh, there's there's a letter. That is one of the 12 letters we've got to find. There's another one up there. Hmm, how do we get over there? Hmm. There's a rope. Oh, oh, <laughs> the parrot's screaming blue murder at us. Okay, I think we've got to get get to it from over here. Yeah, there we go. Just walk across the bridge. Ta-da! I've got a second ladder. Fantastic. Oh. It's very cute, this game. Um, he says it's aimed at children, but I mean, you know. Doesn't have to be, you don't have to be a child to enjoy this. And it's nice to not to have like combat and stuff. Oh, there's another, there's another photo opportunity. Well, that's a bit, that's a bit much, isn't it? Um, There we go. <laughs> cool. Um, I love these little frogs everywhere. Uh, um, here's another, and there's some more letters and things to catch. So I mean, it's um, it's beautifully made. I think this is really nice. It's cute. It's simple. Y you know, it's, it's obvious what you've got to do. It's given you full instructions and everything. Ah, really nice. There we go. Terence's Jungle Adventure, really good. Recommend that one. Um, 212 thumbs up, so it's doing all right. Switch! Arlen. Um, this is a puzzle game. So, you've got two robots. So it says, the objective is simple, get safely to the finish together. So if I walk on here and press this button, it opens up that blue. And then if we press triangle, I can move the green one. I'm going to have to do that again. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. Run. And then run. There we go. Um, grab the, uh, grab the golden burn bomb. I don't think... You can't jump, so... I think we've opportunity to get that so that's never, never mind i found some bombs anyway try to use them to get rid of the crates be careful powdered bots can be hurt by bombs as well press l2 to plant the bomb So I've got to park the 
these bombs. Didn't mean to plant quite as many as that. So it's a sort of a, a bomber man puzzle type thing. Um, okay. There we go, we got to the finish line. Perfect. Oh, is this a... That's number one, we've done that. Right, this is the hob hub. Number two, start level. Okay. Got some bombs. Um... Okay, we'll plant a bomb there. Okay, that's cleared that. Um, I need another bomb there, I think. Oh, missed. Ooh. Okay, that's cleared that. So there's a green and a blue. I don't see... Ah. Okay. So if I stood up, stand on that, I get that. Okay. We're both through. Um, I need the blue one. see the point of that. <laughs> um, hmm. Okay, so I need the green one to go over there. Let's see what the green one does. golden bomb okay golden bomb got I don't know what the golden bomb does um, see I don't see right, I'm, I'm obviously missing something here because I can't see to open up no that's they're gone where is the openings for that i got to do both the blue and the yellow uh blue and the green together okay i'm with it okay so Dum. do that right and then we'll swap over to this guy No. That didn't work. Right, okay. I'm not sure about this one. It's going to take me a while to work that one out. But uh, there we go. That's that's a, like a puzzle game. That's a good one. Some good games this week. Really uh, um, all different. All different. Uh, this one's got 216 thumbs up. Junkbot 2022. Entropy Tamed. Year 3 of Junkbot brings it with a flippy, jumpy, bouncy Junkbot. And multiple jank scoreboards to chase. Okay, so um, 
I haven't done very well with the previous Entropy Tamed games. They've been too difficult. <laughs> okay. Um, land, on, land on your head for a bounce. Full flip for a speed, but I think we're just going to have to play it and hope for the best here. Right. It's a really nice environment. So, I'm not quite sure. So you go... How do I... I can flip over, but I don't know how to... Get him on his head. Ah, okay. Um, I don't know how I did that. It's just <laughs> I don't know how I got on my head. I don't know how I did it. can't get up there. It's too high. Oh, I bounced then. Okay, so if I bounce, flip, flip, nod. N literally no clue. Don't know how to play this, sorry. It looks lovely. It's uh, really nicely made. Um, and if you've got any idea how to do this, then I'm sure it's a fantastic game. But I just... I need more instructions than it's giving me. And um, i clearly got to jump on my head, but I don't know how. I'm trying to do it, but it might push in the left stick. But no, I'm just landing on the side. It's obviously a technique. Well, I bounce, but I mean, I'm nowhere near getting up there. Let's try this ramp. And then straight off, because it doesn't jump. So I don't know. I'm, I'm going to have to leave this one um, to other people to play who've got the hang of it. I just... Um, absolutely no clue. Okay, nicely made, but not for me. Right. Rodney's Temple Heist. Uh, this is an Endless Runner style um, game where it's coming towards you. I don't think I need to reset progress, do I? No, here we go. Well, I wasted all my time collecting those. I don't even know if we need those. I love the little parachute. Fire! Oh, right, we're up. Oh my god. Alright, okay. At least we've got a checkpoint. Oh no, I think I'm gonna have to glide. Oh! So, what was that? <laughs> I got sliced. Oh, okay. Oh, arrows. Flames. Okay, another checkpoint. Good, 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 good. Oh, okay. We're in. Is that it? Okay. Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> can't get high enough. How, how do I? Hmm. What happened there? I didn't even see what happened there. Hmm. Wait. Oh, I'm up this time. There we go. Of a, a problem with the placing in the 3D space there. Um, I think we've got 
go down the, the tiger. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Um, I'm on the tiger's backs. Yes. This is, this is it. Um, that's too high, surely. Um. supposed to do? <laughs> that's that's going to be too high, surely. Whoa. Okay. Oh. Aha. Okay, I've, I've got the... And all these wonderful, like, murals and things around. It's fantastic. Right, okay. Um, right, I don't know what to do here. Because I, it, it just... Ah! Oh, silly me. Wrong way. Got disoriented. Oh, got it this way. Aha! Now what? <laughs> I'm over, but now what? Um, really? Woo! Okay, I'm up. No! Yes! Yes! Ta-da! Wow, I'm pleased with myself. <laughs> it just looked, the jumps just looked really impossible. back to the beginning we're back to the beginning okay i think that's really cool i mean it's short and it could do with more levels but um as a start that is excellent i think more of that please that's really really cool right so here is uh my game of the week this is kingdom war uh one versus one strategy battle um i picked it because um this is the sort of game you don't get very often in dreams people don't make strategy games and um this is quite i i found myself playing it for a lot longer than i was expecting to and that's always a good thing if it's if it distracts me enough from other people's games and, and continuing with my plays for the day um then that's a that's an indication that it's a good game so let's look at the settings you can change the music and the brightness and for PlayStation 4, you can have high performance mode. I didn't think there was a problem, so I'm going to leave it as it is. And I'll go back to the start. And uh, we're going to be player versus AI. Right. So I'm going to start off with a couple of archers and a lot of punches to start with. And they come out of your castle, which you can see if we go scrolling over here. There we are. There it is. So here's our little army. And you get points for um, killing or attacking their army. And time as well. So I can get a knight, an archer, a couple of archers. Let's get a knight. Gonna get some punches. And they're coming. No, we're good. Another knight. Another archer. Got a hundred, hundred twenty-five. Come on. Let's get this long sword. There he is. Enough for a night. Enough for an archer. It's better to have them not spread out, I find, but um Let's see if we can do well enough to get a wizard on the 
on the backfield. Come on. Yep. There's a wizard. A knight. A couple of archers. You can only have seven units at any one time, which is uh, which is the interesting thing. Let's see if we can get an orc. We're doing all right. Uh, my wizard's doing his job. Right, let's get an orc. And a knight. Another wizard might be good if we can get one. Yeah, come on. There we go. So I think we're going to lose our wizard soon because he's surrounded. Yep, there he is. He's died. I can have another wizard as well. There we go. Come on, I want another long sword. Come on, orc. Oh no, my orc is dead. Ah, okay. Lots of punches, I think. Because all I've got is two wizards. So that's not good. Here they come, here they come. Now you can see how this would <laughs> get a bit addictive and you'd be playing it for ages because... have one of these Batavias, whatever they are, um, and a wizard, and a knight. Why have I only got two units? And I can't buy any more units, why? What's happened? wizard oh no I've got nobody on the battlefield at all I know they're coming over I'm gonna have to move them oh no we're really perilously close to my castle now I thought we were doing so well and I spent my money on a Batavia whatever that is and it was not worth it and now they're they're here at the door and I haven't I haven't done anything so wizard wizard long sword Puncher. Oh no, my castle's on fire! There you go. <laughs> I purposely lost, so we can see the end. But there you go. Very cool. Otherwise, you'll be playing that for ages, I promise you. It's it's a little addictive. There we go. Kingdom War, uh, 133 thumbs up, so it could do some more. Gino 015 was the creator of that one. Right, Emra. Uh, Ragnar VE, a small toy in a too big world. I'll be set focus on this. Um, now, when I first played it, this is this is something that people need to be aware of when they make a game. There are so many people that will put up an incomplete game, a, a game that's, that's very short, uh, hasn't got much in it, is just a test, and they don't always say that that's what it is. And um, when people get into a game, if you play a AAA game, you know that there is a full game there. You, you ne don't need to worry about the fact that it might not be finished, because it's always going to be finished. But that's not true for Dreams. So when you make your game, in your description, it's a really good idea to say whether it's a full game, how long it lasts is also a really good one. If it's a work in progress, let people know. Also, let them know how long that work in progress, how long the game is that is there. So, um, because this is what I did when I got to here. I got to here. And there didn't seem to be anywhere to go. I got to the end and I thought, that is that it? Is that the end of the game? Now, if your game doesn't give you any markers that, that, that there is more to it, then people are going to leave at this point because they think, oh, it's another one of these little demos. So um, make sure people are aware that it is a full game and there is more to play. And if, if possible, give them indications of where to go if they're standing around for a while and not getting anywhere. That's always a good idea as well. But there we go. We've got up there. 
I, th I think the, the the characters are really cool. The little robot mechanical clockwork things that are there. These um, creatures or robots or toys or whatever they are are really quite cool. I think these have used the uh, the stuff from the Ancient Dangers pack. I would guess they might have made them themselves, but um, I think uh, we've seen a lot of this more recently since the Ancient Dangers pack came out with disappearing blocks. Although they're quite simple to make yourself. Once people can get them straight out of the dream reverse without having to make them, you get more of them. And why make something if it's already made, is what I say. Right, I can't see myself. Where am I? Okay. Ooh, that was a bit dodgy. A little platforming section, my fave. <laughs> oh, we're doing all right though. Normally, when I'm recording, um, this sort of thing is uh, is where I fall over. It's really hard to commentate during recordings and um, <laughs> and get across these type of things. I like feel I'm concentrating on more than one thing at a time. Or I end up talking a load of gobbledygook. Which is also a possibility. Or I go silent suddenly because I'm concentrating. Oh no! I did exactly the same thing again! For goodness sake! I have got... Oh. Well, there you are. It's all downhill from now. I'll just give this one last go and then we'll go to another game. I don't want to show off the whole thing, obviously. Yeah, got past it, got past it. Okay, we got past it. Yes! Hurrah! I knew I could do it. <laughs> it's very similar, I must say, to um, call, a game called Wind Up Isometric, which also has a, a very similar character and um, the clowns in the pop up boxes. So. And I don't think it's done by the same person, but they might have been inspired. Okay, we're through. I'm on a little fan. Okay. And we're through and we're up. And I will leave it there because I don't want to play the whole thing. Right, there we go. Emra. Really nice. Nice little platformer there. Right, this is going to be a nightmare. I am very bad at this. This is like a Micro Machines racing game. Um, so, it's really easy to crash, even at the beginning, in the hub, trying to just get to the game. So, there we go. This is the den. One of my pots. Um, okay, so let's 
let's see. Oh my god. Yeah, that wasn't good. I came off the ruler. Right, okay. I'm very bad at this game. I have managed to get across the ruler before. Yep, there we go. Got across the ruler. I haven't managed to get across the books. Oh, now I'm down here. I don't know if this is good or bad or indifferent. Um, oh, that's... Oh dear. That's exceptionally bad. Right, you can press the um, you can press the D, uh, the the pad and um, oh god, I'm gonna have to do it again and um, self destruct. So you go back to the checkpoint. But my god, oh my god, I did it again. It's really difficult. I'm not good at this. Right. Okay, I've got I've got onto the blue book. Right, orange book. But, but, oh jeez! Ah! Right. Okay. The green book. Blue book. Oh, oh my god! <clears throat> this is why I hate demonstrating games I'm bad at because it makes the game look bad, and it's not the game; it's me. <laughs> I said. Awful! Right, okay, there we go. There we go, I'm all, I'm all, oh no! <laughs> no, I nearly had it. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get past that cardboard, and then... There we go, that was a better line. Oh no, there's more cardboard. Okay, you get the gist though, I'm sure. There we go, it's very nice. Uh, micro racing, 115 thumbs up. Super Afro Boy, created for the isometric jam. Is it isometric? It's, I suppose so. It's only a camera angle after all. All right, this is a weird one. Um, I put this in uh, because um, somebody's put a lot of effort into this. I'm not that keen on the art style, um, but um, the game's pretty solid. So, you've got to capture Florians. I don't know what they are or why I've got to capture them, but that's what I'm doing. Okay, so it's a weird character we're playing as here. I don't know if it's a cat or a robot or a cyborg cat robot. Um, but anyway, that's us. Um, I've done cobalt oil, so we'll go to Mechan Mal. We've got to catch a six Florians, okay. Now, I don't know if everyone is a Florian, or what is a Florian, or anything else. I just captured everybody last time. So, is this a Florian here? I don't think so. Florian Radar. Yeah, maybe it is. No, maybe not. Okay. I keep taking photographs of us. Aha. Uh -huh. He's hit me with his... Hmm. I didn't have any trouble capturing them in the last level but in this level I don't know maybe they're not Florians maybe they're other things I don't know it's confusing ah. Ah.
No, I'm just being pushed away and they're taking photographs of me. I don't know. All a bit confusing. I'm going to leave it there because it is a bit confusing. Um, but uh, like I say, a lot of effort been put into the game. It's got a lot in it. So um, I will recommend it if it looks like somebody has put some effort in. Right. March of the Corn. Jimmy Cultist. Um, I'll reset the program. Start from the beginning. Um, take on the role of the corn champion, a brave knight who is sent to save a village from a monstrous corn giant. Having said that, I said I'd go to the beginning. Let's go straight to the training. Oh, okay, there we go. That wasn't the beginning. <laughs> Okay, so a cucumber vampire. What on earth is a cucumber vi vampire? Is that a is that a vampire cucumber or a vampire that sucks cucumber juice out of a cucumber? I mean, what what is a cucumber vampire? Who knows? Imagining a huge, great big green cucumber with teeth. like somebody has taken my um we three kings and um changed the instruments around a bit it sounds a bit odd <laughs> also a really weird choice of music and a very very annoying i hate when people use things that i don't think are very good that i made because it's like oh no I've made better things than people think I make awful things because that's all that people put in their games. Right, torch. Can we grab a torch? Okay, maybe not. Okay. Okay, so... Um, so we've got a cannon there, light up oil traps using triangle, but I haven't got a torch. This is the thing, it's like I need a, like a flaming torch. Build fences by holding triangle. Okay, so we can build a fence. There we go. So we've got a fence. That's fine. It's just the torch business. Light up oil traps using triangle. Because he's holding up a thing like that, but there's no torch in his hand. So I don't know. There's a torch here. Can I grab one? Ah! Okay. Oh, there we are. Uh, wasted um, is not spelt like that. Might want to change that. Okay, what we got here? Uh, L2 to aim. And if you let go, you let go of the cannon. So L2, we've got hold L2. fire up as it will go. That's a bit rubbish. <laughs> okay. Doesn't work as well as I'd like anyway. I've now got a torch, I guess. Let's go onto the battlefield.
broke it, so I can grab a torch, can I? There we go. I can build a fence. Admit the music in this is incredibly annoying. See that fence doesn't seem to be point. It seems pointless to me. I mean, look. look I mean, just step to the left or to the right, and he's through. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Um, we've got some oil down here we can light, but we don't want to do that until it's upon us, do we? Really? All the cannons. There's a bell over there. I don't know what that's for. Let's stay down here and see what happens. Because presumably, is my torch out. Oh, my torch is out. Oh, I ring a bell and. Um, Oh, crikey! There it is! Okay! Yep! Okay! Can't see him from here! <laughs> Way far. Oh, that's it. Pointless. He's miles away, but there we are. He's coming. the effort put in but it's a very slow game um, it's only got um, 66 thumbs up at the moment I think the pace of this game is perhaps a bit slow um, so that might affect its people playing it but a lot of effort been put in into making that one right castle catch Catch all the green orbs and try to avoid the red ones. The drops get faster as your score increases. Do you have the effects to do get a high score? Um, this is by Trimedo. It's like um, Kaboom, if you um, are old enough to remember that. Let's do it on easy then. Right, catch the green ones, don't catch the red ones. That's simple. Use the D-pad. Doing all right so far. Again, this is one of these games that uh, you can get a bit addicted to. You want to beat your high score all the time. You think I can do better than that? I can last longer than that. I'm doing all right so far. I don't think I've caught any bad. Oh, just as I say, I haven't caught any bad ones. I catch one. Oh, I missed one as well. I don't know if you lose lives if you miss one. I would imagine so, otherwise, what's the game? happening below because I'm too busy concentrating underneath. Ah! Damn it, that's another life. You also have to have a good a controller because, I don't know, I find that D-pads can be a bit sticky on some occasions and um, don't actually do things quick enough for you. Ah, oh, missed it. 
1937. That isn't bad. I'm quite pleased with that. Let's have a look at the scoreboard, shall we? Um. Oh, I'm nowhere. 48. There we are. So I'm sure you can beat me. Um, but like I say, uh, it's one of those games you just try and keep beating your high score. Right, uh, let's have a look at some of the artwork then. So um, this is the Isha Museum by Ralph Storm, made for the Isometric Jam. There's going to be a lot of artwork for the Isometric Jam, I, I believe. And people are making things. This is interesting. I would have liked to have been able to have a free cam to have a good look at this. But um, it's there and then that's it. So there's not much um, you can do with that. Just, just look at it. Um, this is a, um, a a filmed piece of scenery, a place of peace by Puncher Pixel. Nice art style. Looks very cool. I haven't played it for very long, so I don't know if it's just these rocks and some greenery, or whether it actually shows you more. I don't know. What I'll do is I'll play this and then if it's a long drawn out thing I'll just cut it. Yeah, it was just a it was just just that view, basically. But very nice. Um here we have Trail Runner New Zealand by Insane Artist. Uh, this is a new trail run inspired by the beautiful New Zealand mountains. Um, now, I'm going to say that for me, this continual mountain waterfall combo is getting a bit tiresome. Um, I feel like I'm, I've seen it, I've seen it a hundred times and... As beautiful as these sceneries are, and as lovely as as the um, the assets are that made them, I do feel like I've seen a thousand mountains and a thousand waterfalls, and and it's no longer as awe inspiring as it once was. Now, if you're new to dreams, then um, you see these with fresh eyes and um, you've never seen the like before and you'll be impressed and that's all good. Um, but for those of us who have been around for a long time, we've seen these artists develop their skills, especially with the waterfall designs and the water designs, the mountains and everything. I'm gonna have to walk around this way. Um, and we've seen it, we've seen it a lot. And it gets to be like, oh no, not another waterfall. Well, it is, it is for me. I mean, other people might not feel the same way. They might go, oh, lovely, another waterfall. But for me, it's like, I want to see something else. There are millions of different views of the world that you could show us that don't involve waterfalls and mountains. And I'd like to see some of those, please. I don't know where this trail goes. It goes up into the mountains by looks. Oh look, we're going into a nice cave. So this is nice, this is different. Very, very lovely. And there's a portal to another waterfall, of course. So, um, yeah, there's a limit to how many waterfalls I can... I'm, I'm a bit waterfalled out, that's what I'm saying. Final Boss by Liluacola81. Never quite sure how to pronounce that. This is a little animation. We've got like a golem and a king. I'm not sure which is the final boss, whether it's the king or the golem, but um, 
He looks tired out, that king. Doesn't look like he'd be much of a, a threat, but who knows, he might do spinny things. <laughs> you have, Use your imagination, because there is no spinny things. <laughs> right. A Walk in the Valley by SK Fletch 1. Um, is it spot the waterfall time? Let's see. Um, SK Fletch has been uh, putting out quite a few uh, Walking Sims recently. It's one of those things, Walking Sims in Dreams. People like them. Um, they're popular. They get lots of thumbs up. But um, it's not popular with everyone. Um, so it's one of those like Marmite things. You either really like them or you don't. Having said that, I'm not sure whether I like them or not. I, I, I appreciate the artwork and I love I love the um, looking at the assets, the trees and stuff and and seeing the, um, the landscaping. And it's something I'm very, very bad at myself. So I appreciate the artistry and skill in making these. But I, I have seen an awful lot of them. And uh, at the end of the day, it's rocks and grass and trees. So, but again, if you're new to dreams, check these out. These are excellent walking sims. Beautiful surroundings, lovely, realistic looking rocks and things. These are very good. Does make me feel like I want to go out for a nice walk somewhere pretty. There, there we go. Uh, we've got Demon, another. Lily Cola. I'm going to call him Lily, Lily, Lily Cola. Um, different style to the last one, though still in the fantasy realm. Those wings are fantastic, aren't they? Look at that. It's a fallen angel. Uh, Monastery of St. Felsta. Um, this was my uh, artwork of the week. I really liked the um, the architecture, the way this is all planned out. That beautiful sunset there with the birds, I thought it was really cool. You've got this torture device there, which is a strange thing to have in a monastery, but who knows, maybe the Spanish Inquisition is, is based there. Um, torturing heretics. But there we go. And um, after the, the video presentation, uh, it gives you a free cam so you can walk around. So we'll do that. It doesn't give you any warning that you can either. So it's it, you're straight in there. Um, I, you can't go everywhere because there's some stairs here and I don't seem to be able to go out there. So let's go and have a look at this torture device then. I say it's a torture device, I presume that's blood and stuff, is it? Or was it petals off the flowers? I mean, I have no idea. Maybe it's not a torture device, maybe it's a weaving machine. Um, it's got shackles. I think it's a torture device. Disturbing. Disturbing. The flowers are lovely. Look at these lovely roses. Really nice. Look at that. Gorgeous. And all the woodwork and everything. Look at that. Beautiful. It's a real gothic look to this monastery. It's a, it's a gothic monastery. Style of architecture. Come mixed in with some very old fashioned round turrets. So it's a mixture. The bell tower there. So it's sort of like um like they've put some gothic touches to a Norman castle. That's the sort of mixture we've got here. There's something going on over there. There's a line going right up to the sky. And there's the sun. That looks lovely. It's just got depth and it just feels like a really good computer-generated um, space. 
There we go. Distant Travels of a Lonely Egg by... Now, how do we pronounce this? Tiefsela? Something like that. Uh, these are a lot of little short... Well, I say short, just as long as you want to see them, actually. And you press X for the next one. Um, these are little scenes of an egg travelling through treacherous, dangerous places. Now, the artist has this that speciality, this very paint, watercolour-y type look. Um, and they like to put uh, these blurry filters on. Now, personally for me, I, I don't like the filters. I, I, I'd like to see the detail and everything. And this is a bit too blurry for, m for my eyes, for my taste. But, um, you know, it's a style. This, this is the artist's style, and this is what they like. And it's telling a little story of this egg travelling. Okay, I won't show all of it, because otherwise there's no incentive for you to have a look. Here's another SK Fletch mountain walk. I think I can hear a waterfall. I started to get get paranoid that every time I get a walking sim there's going to be a waterfall in it. This one just looks a bit rocky, but I bet there's water. Is that, that, that sounds like a waterfall, no? No? No waterfalls? I'm going to be disappointed if there isn't one now. <laughs> there's a house over there. Couple of houses. Just gonna have a look at the houses. That's something different. I wonder where we are. Hey, look. Kind of sort of old, but also modern. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, you can check that one out. Another walking sim for you. Uh, teddy bear picnic. Demonic b blondie. This is cute. With the little cute teddy bear things. All laid out there. For a picnic. Today's the day the teddy bears have their picnic. Picnic time for teddy bears. The teddy bears are having a lovely time today. This is a very old song that some of you will probably go, what is she singing? <laughs> Check it out. Find it. Google it. Teddy Bear's Picnic. And finally we have Aurora by Soul Streamer. And... This is not true, by the way. I have not been disconnected. Or if I was disconnected, I was disconnected for a split second. And that message comes up just to annoy me. Um, here we uh, have um, female sexy robot, if that's such a thing. That's definitely a female robot, right? <laughs> I love the... Uh, the, the hair or the, the neon lighted tentacles. I don't know what you want. I think it's hair, isn't it? Just you reach it up for the for the moon. It's a great dynamic pose. Really, really cool. Very nicely made. Right. Uh, have a quick look at the fan makes. Then we've got um, God of War. Kratos. This is the earlier version of Kratos, I think, than the later. He's a lot older in that, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe this is a new one. I don't know about the music, so I'll just cut there. Crash Bandicoot Insane Adventures HD. 
This is a brand new insane adventure. Um, again, we've got Crash Bandicoot music. But it's got everything in it that you want. That's a really good Crash Bandicoot. Look at him. Should have done that. Should have gone up, up there first. Never mind. Don't destroy that one. There we go. Ta da! Got them. There's Aku Aku! Jump over those. I have got a golden apple! And a checkpoint! Nice checkpoint! I did it again. I should have jumped on it first. <laughs> Some cool animation in this. Done a great job. Oh! <gasps> I was a bit ambitious there, really, to be fair. Jump over that. Nitro! I can't go any further forward. Okay. Oh. Okay, it's stopping me going round them, so... Well, they've exploded now, so I don't have to worry about them anymore. <laughs> yeah, it forces you to go round. Oh, that was stupid. Got it anyway. Ha ha. If I'm playing this and there is no music, it's because it was, um, it was uh, muted for copyright claims. There we go. Let's not play any more of it. That's. Uh, Hopefully it'll be okay, but yeah, like I say, if it's muted, it means there was a copyright claim and I had to take it off. Right, animation, uh, Curious Cat by Arsene 3 d uh, This is a looping animation. If I wasn't connected to the Dream Server, I wouldn't be playing this now, now would I? <laughs> so infuriating. Does it constantly? It's actually worse than um, the last update. So we've had the second update. It's even got w more worse um, since the, the first update that caused it in the first place. Very annoying. Anyway, here's a cute little cat and some cute little birds and that's it. That's all it is. <laughs> Feeling a bit stressed out. Maybe you'd like to see a cat with some little birdies. Uh, Sci-fi arm showcase, Ibija. Um, let's do the animation. Incredibly cool, that. Um... Yeah, very nice indeed. Um, there's a free cam, so we can go and have a really good look at how this is made. A bit closer. A lot of effort put into this. I've no idea what the thermo is like on it. It might be horrendous. But for a demo like this, it all looks cool. I don't know what that's doing there. 
That should be invisible, I would say. I don't think we need to see that. Sort of spoils it a bit. Um, anyway, very, very cool. Very, very nice. Good showcase um, of what somebody can do. Uh, here is PS1 visual showcase. A little scene to show off a retro asset collection. So let's have a look at the collection first. Um, here it is. Um, this is a great way of advertising your um, asset collection and assets that you've made is to make a little dream to go with it. Um, and now we can put links in so you can do that even better. Ta -da. Um, this will only work, by the way, um, if uh, you have approved Media Molecule for using your stuff and you're on In Dreams. If you're not on In Dreams, you cannot link to it because it needs an In Dreams link. And the In Dreams link in from the Dreams to In Dreams is different to the same looking number sequence In Dreams. You'll understand what I mean when you come to do a link to yourself. Anyway, let's have a look at the, the Dream so we can have a look at his assets in situ. Let's do free roam. There we go. So we've got a nice road with some electrical wires and pylons and things and a car and a little house we can go in. There we are, a little square mug. Nice retro feel to it, lots of trees and stuff. Similar to sort of minecraft -y type thing, but also early Zelda and things like that. So you could use this kit to make some retro games. Really nice. There we go. Little showcase. And here we have a text gadget showcase by Todu. Um, let's start this at the beginning. So this is scenes using only text gadgets. Now, having done this myself, I think I was one of the first, not the first, but one of the early people to attempt it. Um, <laughs> it isn't that easy to do. And it's time consuming. It is time consuming. Um, but uh, these are beautiful. These have got really, th these have got, a lot going for them, perspective and everything. Mine was a bit flat. Um, so yeah, really cool. Got all the 3D-ness of that in a 2D world. I love the way you've got the, the light comes on and it just gives that sort of shading thing and of color ombre effect, really nice. More black and whiteness. Text gadgets very good for creating semi transparent um, platforms and um, way to create mirrors and things like that. It doesn't mirror, you'd have to have two versions of the same thing mirrored underneath but it's a, it's a great effect. I think that was the, the last one. Oh no. We've got 80s retro. Another little box. And then that's it. Okay, there we go. Really cool. I'm not gonna play the music. Um, I have explained this before. Um, music is, is a little bit of a a controversial thing for me on the YouTube channel, so I'm just, uh, I won't play the music uh, in case it gets copyright striked. So there we go. Um, that was my first long play, and it was. It was, uh, it was a long play. So uh, over an hour of me playing these games, but it does mean that I get to play uh, these things a little bit longer. And uh, please remember, this um, collection is available that the link is in the description of this video um if you click on it and go to in dreams any um parts of this that are not uh that are not listed won't be visible um so the archives will appear to be empty so if you want to have a look at the archives 
uh, and see what my previous uh, recommendations of the week were, then um, you can't see this in, in Dreams. You have to see this um, on the PS4 or PS5. Um, so click on, um, you can click on this and then use the play later from in dreams in order to or play now um to to go and put it on your ps4 so you can see it and play it um because you can't click you can't see these are all unlisted collections because otherwise i'd be swamping uh dreams with all of my collections i didn't think that was fair so um these are all unlisted uh if they're not current and i'm now getting to the the the, the recommended list of the week is listed so um, it becomes unlisted once it's gone in the archive I think that works out quite well so you you will be able to see um, this and everything inside it um, though there are possibly uh, dreams in there that are visible on dreams but not visible on in dreams because um, that person has not uh, signed up for it so there's always that issue as well. So if you want to get the full thing, you really do need to come to Dreams. Don't use In Dreams as as your way to 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 view stuff in Dreams. But you won't get the whole picture. So there we go. Right. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, let me know in the comments if you'd like more of this, uh, or if you don't think it's necessary, let me know, and um, we'll see maybe next week. Next next time um with another best of the week long play catch you in dreams <laughs>